One of the biggest reasons why people are afraid to invest in real estate is because they're concerned about having exorbitantly high maintenance costs. And you know, everyone always hears a horror story of some tenant who maybe trashed a property and it ended up costing tens of thousands of dollars to fix. Well, here's the thing. First of all, on your rental properties, you can do a home warranty so that if the air conditioner goes out or a lot of the mechanical systems in the house go out, the dishwasher breaks, that kind of thing, you just pay for the $70 deductible on the home Home warranty and they come out and fix it or replace it or whatever it's going to take. The home warranty is going to run you probably about $500 a year, but it's a great insurance plan to say, hey, I've got this in place. If there's major maintenance, like a new air conditioner, I know I'm not going to end up having to pay $10,000 out of pocket for that. The home warranty company is going to fix it for me. There are some restrictions and caveats to home warranties. That's a greater conversation, but right now we're just talking about how to mitigate your risk on these uh, cash flow type properties. The second thing is, if you have a tenant that truly does more than normal damage to the house, I'm not just talking like, you know, it needs new paint and carpet. That's normal, typical maintenance. If you have a tenant that absolutely destroys the property, your homeowner's insurance policy, as long as you notify them that this is an investor policy, will likely cover that damage. I've seen several cases where the owner was able to get the damage by the tenants covered through their homeowner's insurance policy. They paid a thousand dollar deductible, but then what they were able to do is complete remodeled the property and now they had a property that was much nicer than it was before and they were able to significantly increase the rents over what they had previously been charging another thing is you know, a lot of time your tenants are not going to completely trash the property. They want to get their security deposit back. And so I do think it's a myth that all tenants destroy properties. Um, you'll have occasionally tenants that are a little rough on the property and it requires some repair and maintenance. Oftentimes you're going to have to do things like new paint and carpet in the house. That's why I like to look for rental properties that have almost no carpet. And that's just sort of part of owning a property. So when you're buying it, you need to make sure there's enough cash flow in the property to where doing the maintenance makes sense. Most invector, investors like to factor somewhere between five and 10% of whatever the annual rent is for maintenance. Um, so if you were renting the property out for $10,000 a year, plan on somewhere between 500 and a thousand dollars in maintenance. I have certainly had times where it exceeded that. And I've also had times where I've had a tenant in the property for five years and I never had to do a single thing in five years. So it all averages out and over time, I think that five to 10% rule is very safe. And, and as long as you're using those mitigating factors with the homeowner's insurance and the home warranty policy, very rarely are you gonna exceed that in maintenance.